guys, Dogecoin, right? Um, I'm leaning a little bit bullish on Dogecoin. The reason for this, right? I mean, of course, I wanna I wanna see a close from a, from the three day chart, meaning a buy signal, but I wanna see a close above the fifty three day uh, moving average and basically above the twenty four cents high before I can I can target a, a potential up a potential thirty percent upswing to kind of like thirty three cents. But the, this buy signal, I'm also seeing it on the daily chart, which is, uh, you know, whenever you have like two buy signals within two different time frames, it's actually a, a bullish event. But of course, right, I want I want, I want Dogecoin to first close above the middle Bollinger Band on the daily chart, which currently sits around 24 cents and coincides with the high of uh, July 7th before I would I can target uh, from a daily charge perspective, 27 cents. Then this kind of like uh, death cross that form between the 100 and the 50 uh, day moving average, which currently sits at 30, or basically the setup trend line by the sequential indicator that sits at 33 cents. So as soon as we close above uh, this descending trend line, as well as the July 7th high of 24 cents, I, I could probably long this to all the way to 27 cents, 30 or 32 cents. Uh, the way that this thing can get invalidated is that I was looking into, into the blocks IO map and there is little, little support. So a rejection of the middle Bollinger Band, right? That basically creates a daily close below 21 cents. I believe we're going lower, and that I mean, and that low will be defined basically by the by the 200 uh, day moving average at 17 cents. And if we lose that, guys, uh, we're going all the way down to to less than less than one cent. Uh, yeah, to the maybe the January 29th high of basically yeah one cent. But um, which actually works out to being the fifty-week simple moving average, also. Oh, oh that, that's where the fifty-week. Yeah, exactly. Look at that. Uh huh. It's especially when everything coincides. One, but yeah, that's uh, that's basically my take on it. So, if it closes above twenty-four cents, we have that rebound to around thirty to thirty-three cents, and if it gets rejected and it closes below below twenty-one cents today. Uh, then I will potentially target the 200 day moving average or the 50 week moving average, which sits around like 10 cents basically. But, uh, but yeah, that's what I'm looking at. What about what about you, Sheldon? What are you looking at on on, on Dogecoin? Are you bullish on the Oh, I was going to reference your chart, but really at the end of the day, uh, there's yeah. not really much more to say about uh, Dogecoin. Really, the descending May trend line is driving prices right now almost every day since since june 29th prices interacted with that trend line so until there's a daily close above that and also important is the may 23rd low which comes it's just below 25 cents a daily close below those two levels or above sorry those two levels would then extend and I would be entertained to look at a trade to the 50 day moving average at 33 cents. On the downside, if the night, May 19th low doesn't hold, which we're testing today and we tested yesterday, the 200 days in play. And then, and then we started thinking about that uh, big hammer from uh, April 23rd, which low, which is 13 and a half cents there yeah. and then things, mm -hmm. things unwind after that yes yeah, the levels like really you were talking about the, the the 50 week and you know time to put on your yeah. seatbelt type of stuff yeah, yeah yeah so so again right trend lines are, are meant to be broken hopefully for the dogecoin bulls this trend line gets broken so they can get a little bit of relief but until that happens rejection could come into play and things will not be looking good you know uh we'll be potentially looking at as sheldon say right i mean you 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 sheldon you're looking at a, at a close below this low right close below mm -hmm. 195 will potentially you will be potentially targeting um i guess the 200 day moving average and if mm -hmm. not then the the low from from april 23rd is that right 
Yeah, I mean, essentially we're we're getting squeezed, right? We we have a window here of maybe two or three days where we have the the May descending trend line pressing down on price, and then you have that support that's looks like it's materializing over the last two days at the May nineteenth low. So you have like just a small little triangle or window there left before we pass the sort of the apex of that formation. Right. So something's going to happen within it should happen within the next two or three days. That's some form right. of resolution. Right. Yeah. yeah, well, the three is coming. Uh, now it's just a matter of waiting to see what will happen, right? Is this thing going to go up or is this thing going to go down? Well, the main key price points to look at is basically this descending trend line, uh, the potential close about this descending trend line and 24 cents. We'll see it go up to 30 cents or potentially 33. Uh, Sheldon is, is looking at, at, at a close below 19.5 uh, cents. I'm looking at a close below 21 cents based on the IO map but uh, a close below this level right here could potentially say target the 200 uh, day moving average which currently sits at 17 cents or the April 23rd low of 13 cents. And if none of that holds, uh, yeah, buckle up and brace yourself because it's going down. But anyways, uh, Akash, do you see anything different about uh, Dogecoin? Is Elon Musk going to come to the rescue or, or what? Yeah, no, I, this is the only coin that I'm bearish on. Oh, wow. uh, we have consensus finally. <laughs> yeah, so I was expecting it to go down here. Uh, it went down prematurely and then now it's uh, gone up. So I'm expecting this to continue, carry forward. And then uh, if, if we break these two levels, then we will test this 0.164 level, right? And if you uh, look at it, right? Uh, what Dogecoin has been doing all along is like it comes down, uh, gives you a bump, and then like gets it nukes, goes up, comes down, goes up one last time, and then nukes, right? So I'm expecting something similar uh, happening here. Like do this, and then do this, and then we'll find a nuke. Wow. Wow. Well, <laughs> I, I have a question, Sheldon. I have a question, Sheldon. Would yeah. you consider this um, uh, a head and shoulders? Right, like yeah, that's interesting these, you bring that up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could. You could consider yeah. it that. In fact, I was looking at that uh, yesterday. Uh, right. That actually it could be uh, head I and shoulders I, formation. Are you guys talking about this? No, no. Uh, oh. Well, I, I am talking about, about like a, 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 a basically a, a top head and shoulders. So that's the top. right shoulder. Mm, mm. Okay. Exactly, right? Exactly, that's the neckline right there, that red line that you have uh, right there, right? Uh -huh. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Which, uh, yeah, which will be really ugly because what's, what's the target on that, Akash? So if you measure from the top to the bottom. Um, the, pr the price target is insolvency. <laughs> 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 holy, holy guacamole. I okay, mean, this is back to what? Pre, uh, pre bull run levels, actually lower than that. Shit. Like it could, it could happen, you know? I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised and I will actually be happy because basically speculators need to know that you cannot be betting on this dog coming. They don't, these guys are not doing anything, right? Uh, this uh, okay. the development team behind this this coin is has been sitting on on the, on the silence for a little while. Yeah, the Elon Musk says that now he's gonna make Dogecoin coin that coin, but I don't think so. And uh, you know, a reverse to that point will basically it'll be good. It'll be good to teach some people that that you cannot be such a big speculator. But <laughs> it, hopefully, hopefully it doesn't happen. But let's see. Let's see what's up. And I actually thought that that my target of, of, of like 10 cents was was kind of bearish. <laughs> now imagine going down to to three cents. That'll be that'll be heavy. But uh but what a take, what a take. So yeah, so it seems like we're all leading a little bit bearish on, on, on Dogecoin at the moment, at least a, a potential first tag of, of the 19.5. I mean, Akash is looking at a potential tag of the of the 16 cents. Uh, Support level, 
But I do believe, uh, and Sheldon, I believe that believes as well that if we close on the daily be below 21 to 19.5, uh, then this thing is basically going to tank the 200 day moving average. And if that doesn't hold, then it, it will potentially target the April 23rd low of, I believe it was like 13 cents or something like that. So for right now, Dogecoin bulls, be aware that this thing is looking, it's looking ugly. But I gotta say that, uh, that you know, the TV sequential indicator is presenting me with buy signals on the three-day chart, on the daily chart, right? So only a close above 24 cents will get me bullish on, on Dogecoin and I will be targeting 30 cents to 33 cents. But 